Uh, good afternoon. So today I will be talking about multi-species asymmetric simple explosion process with impurity activated flips. This work has been jointly done with Professor Hayakawa at Kyoto University. These are the references where you can find the details. So let us start with some features of the non-equilibrium system. So one of the main characteristics that differentiates the non-equilibrium systems from their equilibrium counterparts is the existence of net flow or current in non-equilibrium system. And this basically gives rise to the broad area of transport phenomena, which is ubiquitous, like starting from microscopic cellular process to macroscopic traffic flow. And non-equilibrium systems exhibit several interesting phase transitions, for example, jamming in granular materials, phase separations in active matter systems, the traffic jam, and so on. So one of the general aims in the field of statistical mechanics is to understand such complex non-equilibrium phenomena using some simple, exactly solvable toy models. And very often we are interested in the long time limit or steady state behavior of the system. So the point is, if you can find out the exact non-equilibrium steady state probability distribution, then you can calculate observables of interest, explore the possibility of phase transitions, calculate transport properties, and so on. Now when you talk about exactly solvable toy models, one of the simplest examples that come to your mind is that of a single random walk. So this is a single random walker on a one dimensional periodic lattice can hop to right with rate p and to left with rate q. Now, if you ask that what is the steady state of this single random walker, the answer is fairly simple. Because all the configurations are equally like. But in statistical mechanics, we are interested generally in many particle systems, and there should be different kind of interactions between the particles. So it is natural to ask for a generalization from a single random walker model to a system of many interacting random walkers. And a model that nicely captures the essence of many interacting random walkers is the asymmetric simple exclusion process. So let us see what is asymmetric simple exclusion process. So just like the single random walker, here also any particle can hop to right with rate p and to left with rate q, but only if the target site is empty. That is, there is hard core exclusion interaction between the particles. Now, why is this model interesting? Mathematically, it is interesting because it's an exactly solvable many particle model, which has an exotic matrix product steady state. It's physically interesting because this exhibits interesting boundary induced phase transitions. And there are several applications, like in the field of motor protein transport and traffic flow. And so on. Now, we will be particularly interested in the traffic flow perspective. So, if you consider these particles as just cars or pedestrians, and these vacancies as just vacant spaces in front of them, so this model acts as a very simplistic model of traffic flow. Now the problem with this model is this can, drive, uh, this can describe only traffic flow in a single lane. But in reality, you have multi-lane traffic flow, right? So cars and pedestrians can not only move along the lanes, but they can also change lanes. So it would be much more realistic to consider multi-lane asset. But at this point, I would like to mention that in sharp contrast to the original asset, which was an exactly solvable models, there is almost no exact solution for the multi-lane asset. So the question that we are trying to pose is that, can we have an approximate mapping from the multi-lane asset to some one-dimensional model which allows exact solution? So that is the question. So to keep the motivation in one line, we are trying to have a mapping from multi-lane asset to a one-dimensional asset with multiple species. So let us start from the original two-lane model. So we have two lanes. In lane one, particles can hop with rate P1 and Q1. In lane 2, particles can hop with rate P2 and Q2. And there are bridges connecting these lanes. So we, from these bridges, particle can go, particles can go from one lane to the other. And the question is, can we have an equivalent one-dimensional model? So this is the model we propose. We consider the lane 1 particle as species 1, lane 2 particle as species 2, and the bridge between the lanes, that we consider as a separate species, which we call impurity. Now you can imagine that the diffusion of the particles in the two lanes just become the diffusion of the two species. But what about the lane change dynamics? So in the original model, if a particle and lane one sees a bridge, it can change the lane with rate W12. In our model, this means that if species one hits an impurity, this just becomes species two. Similarly, in the original model, if there is a particle in lane two, and it sees a bridge, it can cross the bridge and go to lane 1. Uh, no. So in our model, this means that species 2, when it hits an impurity, flips to species 1. So 
So what we have done is to map a two-lane asset to a one-dimensional asset with two species and impurities. A similar kind of mapping can be done from multi-lane asset to a one-dimensional asset with multiple species and impurities. So just to summarize the dynamics of the model again, we illustrate it for the two species case. The species one can hop with P1, Q1. Species two can go do with uh, P2, Q2. And the impurities can activate flip between the species. Now this model itself as a non-equilibrium stochastic process is interesting because it has some generic features. For example, this is a disordered model because different species and impurities have different hop rates. This is a non-conserved model because of the flip dynamics and one can show that this is also non ergodic so the question we now ask is that can we find out the exact steady state and consequently can we calculate observables of interest? So the answer is yes. Indeed, we can calculate the exact steady state of this model using a technique called matrix product on such. So the idea is to represent different species and impurities and vacancies as non-commuting matrices. So just a configuration of particles just now becomes a string of matrices. And the probability of this configuration is given by the trace of this product of matrices. So the, our task is to find out the relations which these matrices satisfy in the steady state. And from that relation, which we call matrix algebra, we have to find out the matrix representation in terms of the input parameters like the hop rates, flip rates, and this kind of thing. So very briefly, I will just give you the results that um, for the totally asymmetric case, we have got finite dimensional matrices. And for the partially asymmetric case, we have got infinite dimensional matrices. If you're interested in the explicit representations or the properties, please uh, check out this reference. Okay, so the first step is done. We have obtained the exact non-equilibrium steady state probability distribution. Now we can go to the second step and calculate observables of interest. And for today's talk, I'll be focusing on two specific properties which are exhibited by this model. The first one is negative differential mobility. So generally what we observe is that current increases with increasing bias. But for our model, what we have observed is that for specific choice of the microscopic dynamics, it is often possible to see that current decreases with increasing bias. So let us illustrate this with uh, two species case with impurities. So this is the setup. So the right hop rate of the uh, species one is chosen to be one and the left hop rate as e to the power minus b. So the parameter b acts as the bias in the system. And the species two is considered to be unbiased. So its magnitude is taken importantly as a decreasing function of b. Now with this setup, if you plot the currents of different species and impurities as a function of the bias, what you can see is that for high values of bias, currents of species one, species two, impurity, all of them decrease with increased bias. Now this decreasing current with increasing bias means there is negative differential mobility in the system. Okay, so the second one is I want to talk about uh, counter flow induced clustering phenomena. Now counter flow induced clustering can happen in many instances, for example, you consider the very narrow lane where pedestrians are coming from. Two plus two. Yes, sure, thank you. Where pedestrians are coming from uh, two different sides. Now at very high density of pedestrians, traffic jam can happen. We want to see similar kind of scenario in our setup. So what we do is to fix the net bias of the species to towards right. And we will tune this hop rate Q1 such that the net bias of species one can vary from right to left. So the counter flow situation is the situation where the net bias of species two is towards right, and the net bias of species one is towards left. And we want to see that if is there some kind of cluster formation in this system. So indeed, what we see is that there are kind of two different phases. One is the free flowing phase where we have a non-zero current, then this current has a sudden drop at Q, near Q1 equals to P1, and the current remains vanishingly small in the clustering phase. Now this free flowing phase occurs when the two species have net bias in the same direction, and clustering phase occurs when two species have uh, net bias in the opposite direction, which this is the counter flow situation. And similar kind of uh, things you can derive from the expression of density. So let me just summarize. So motivated by the study of multi-lane traffic flow, we have proposed a one-dimensional approximation, which is multi-species asset with impurity activated flip. The point is that we have got an exact non-equilibrium matrix product steady state. The model is disordered, non-conserved, and non-ergodic. These are the general features of the model. We have observed negative differential mobility where current can decrease with increasing bias. And then we have also observed counter flow induced clustering. So thank you for your time. The numerics are done with the two-lane model, is it?
No, no, no. Uh, that's the point. The so after motivating the model, yeah, you forgot about question. it and you stuck. Yeah, 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 yeah. So but, then, but we really plan to compare like how they match or. But you see I don't expect. Calculation. Okay, but uh, what, what, why, what are the dynamics of the impurity? I didn't quite get. Yeah. So okay. So originally, breathe should be like quenched. There should not be any motion. But since we have considered an exact one-dimensional model, we have to allow some hop rate of the impurity. You can tune it starting from zero to infinity, but you have to have some motion of the impurity also. This is saying like some bridge is closed for road construction or something, and the other bridge is open, so the bridge is like diffusing with some rate epsilon. So the original model had two species. So uh, I mean, uh, huh? original model has two lengths. Two lengths, but depending on the construction of the length, I am saying the same particle can have different velocity, uh, different hop rates in the two lengths. Right. Yeah. No, so what I was saying is, uh, normally if you wrote hydrodynamics for this model, you'd probably write for two uh, on the two lengths, like you have two densities and they couple. You write a set of coupled equations, right? Yeah. Exactly. But now with the, the the mapping is not exact, right? It's approximate. Approximate in the uh, sense that, um, okay, not... like when you change lane, actually it should be a like three side process because you, you are at some site, you see a bridge, and the site in the next lane is vacant, then you can move. In that sense, this is approximate. Right, yeah, it's not yeah. exact. That's what yeah, I'm yeah, saying. that sense. This but is. now the hydrodynamics for this system seems uh, like you have three species, right? In some. Yeah, the impurity is also space. So, yeah. So, so in the point is that the original model, as I was saying, that the breeze should be quenched. So the so the impurity should be quenched. Ah, okay. But since this is a one-dimensional model, I have to give like otherwise these are like blocks, blocks, blocks. Only thing happening inside the two impurities. Nothing happens. So that's why I'm giving also a small diffusion, and you can motivate it like saying that some bridges are blocked, then other bridges are open. So there is some diffusion of the bridges and that. Okay. So uh, the observable for your model is the current, right? Yeah, uh, average density of the species, current. Yeah. So what? How do you s prove it's non-ergodic? Like because uh, ergodicity is generally ensemble averages and time average, isn't it? Yeah. Just, uh, just consider. Um, so what I'm trying to say is that consider some initial configuration like this. Okay, some some initial configuration, and focus on this particular red one. Now this red one, according to our dynamics, can flip to red two, right? Because it has a plus and it flips. So this is an accessible configuration. But if you focus on this one, this one actually cannot flip to uh, the species two because this has this doesn't have any impurity uh, in front of it. So this configuration is not accessible. So what I'm trying to say is that starting from particular initial configuration, you cannot access all possible configurations. You can only access a subspace. So that's why it is non ergodic Yeah. So, so the is the impurity uh, does the impur density of the impurities matter? So density of the impurity work? is constant. It's it's like the number of Regis, okay. uh, so it actually uh, tuning the flips, number of flips actually, so density of the impurity. This but is a constant, but you can change it. So how many flips do you want or something? I can have the number of impurities equal to the number of sites. Yeah. Uh, no, then it's like absorbing state, nothing can move. Want because in the them? original model, you had the links on every bond, I guess. On, sorry, the, the yeah, links between two lanes. On. Okay, but uh, like, uh, so, I mean, these are like this. You also have to consider as site. This also site. I mean, at every site you cannot put the bridges. Like uh, at some site there will be particle one uh, species one. Some site part species two. Some site will be vacant, and then others are impurities. If you put impurities at every site, this is just an absorbing configuration. Nothing. Nothing. Related to actual this two-lane model. Mm -hmm. You see this engineering? I haven't done it, so I, honestly. So I, I will. I will do it. Yeah. Okay.
so so uh, the follow up question maybe so uh, uh, since the mapping is not yeah, yeah since oh. the mapping is not exact yeah. uh, and you are not right now the results are done for uh, one dimensional case so if you compare now or if you run a simulation for the original case okay. under what limit do you expect the results to sort of uh, match yeah that's an interesting question uh, um, only thing I can say is that it uh, it will not match exactly for which reasons I know, but uh, for which limits it will match. I like for uh, example, uh, uh, for example that I was saying uh, saying to this answer that um, see this originally if you map it to a, a one dimensional model, it should be a three side process. So in traffic flow, why I will change lane? If something is blocking my front, then I will change. So it should be like some one one some 101 one going to 201 that kind of process so already i am making some approximation that from a three side process i am actually making it two side process in the one dimensional model so there will be some flaws and it will not match exactly for sure in which limit it will match that i have to actually simulate and check as ma'am said so let's thanks to the speaker